All right, hello third grade. Today we're gonna practice going over our sight words for this week. We're gonna go over them on Wednesday and Friday this week. And then when you have time at home, make sure you read these words to someone in your house. These are words that you're gonna wanna practice, that we're gonna wanna learn. And every week we'll go over through a new sight word list. So today, if you know it and you feel comfortable, you can read it along with me and see if you're saying it how I'm saying it. All right, so let's start here. We're going with cause, train, blue, wish, drop, sit, wall, legs, sat, main, wide, arms, brother, race, store, job, edge, past, happy, gone, sky, glass, west, lay, root. And notice how when I read the words, I slide my mouth, my mouse across. So if it helps and you see it in a book or on the screen, you can take your finger and slide it along as well. And hopefully that'll help so you know if I'm saying train, I'm starting with the T as I slide it, I'm going to say train and kind of slide all the letters together. If you have any troubles at all, try that. All right, now we're going to go to our prefixes. Today we're going to be learning about prefixes, pre, re, and miss. So let's start with what is a prefix? So a prefix is a word part that is placed in the front of a base word. So we'll be going over, as again, the prefix pre, re, and miss. And a prefix usually changes the meaning of the base word. So when you add that, your P-R-E, R-E, or M-I-S at the beginning of a word, it's going to change the meaning of the word. So below, we can see that a prefix is added to the base word. So here we have the word connect. We're adding the prefix dis. Now, if you add them together, disconnect. And it changes the word. So when something's connected, like my hands are connected, if they're disconnected, they're apart. So it's changing the word. So if we take re plus the base word of do, we get redo. So it means you're doing it again. Or if we have co and then we add exist, we have coexist. And that's going to change the meanings. So let's start with pre. So pre is a prefix that is used in many words. So remember, prefix means it's at the beginning of the word. We're adding it to the beginning, to the front. So we're going to go over pre plus pay, prepay. So this means I'm going to pay before. And I forgot to read right up here, pre means before. So just adding this, we're just adding to the meaning that it's before. So prepay. I'm going to pay before. Pre-war. It means before the war. Or pre-service. Sometimes at church, when we'd go in person and you'd walk in and you would hear the piano playing, that's the pre-service music. It's the before the service music. And so a sentence to hear it in, I'm going to prepay for this Starbucks drink so when I get there, I can pick it up. So I'm paying for it before I get there. So that way, I, all I have to do is go in and grab it. So pre means before. Now we're going to re. Re means again or back. So let's add a few. Re plus fresh, refresh. Sometimes if something's not loading, you go and you click on the top and you refresh the page. So I'm freshing it again. I'm reloading it. Or re plus view, review. Re plus play, replay. Sometimes if you're watching a sports game on TV, if you're watching a baseball game, they'll say, I'm going to replay this scene. So they're going to play it again. 
So we're going to look at review in a sentence. After I wrote my essay, I read through it again to review it. So review, I viewed it once, but now I'm going back. I'm going to look at it again. I'm going back to it. So re, when I add that to the beginning of a word, because it's a prefix, it means again or back. If it helps before you take your IXL standards, it might be helpful to write this down. Say pre means before on a piece of paper, and then re means again or back. That way it'll be handy right next to you as you're working on your homework. Now we're going to our last one, which is miss. And it means bad or wrong. So when we add M-I-S in front of a word, we're changing the definition to bad or wrong. We're adding it. So if I say miss plus understand, misunderstand. Understand by itself means, means I get something. So if I say I understand how to play softball, it means I know how to play softball. But when I say I misunderstand, it means I don't know how to play. I'm wrong. I don't understand. All right, so now we're going to misread. So miss plus read is misread or misread. It, read means I can, I know the words there and I can read them. But if I say miss, I misread something, it means I read something wrongly. So if I say I misspell, miss plus spell, it means I spelled something wrong. So it's just saying how I'm taking my word. And remember, if I add miss in the front, it means bad or wrong. So if I said I misread the instructions, it means when I read the instructions, I read it wrong, which happens. So today, remember, practice your sight words. Read them to someone in your house. We'll go over them again on Friday. And if it helps as you do your IXL standard, write down on a piece of paper next to you what the prefix means. Remember, prefix is at the front of the word, not at the end, at the front.